beautiful poem. And as I said before, this beautiful book of poetry is a collaboration between Raymond Trombley and myself. Raymond Trombley, a phenomenal um, author and, 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 and poet on his own right, has many, many books and biographies and everything out there. Um, you know, he, he's part of the National Archives of Canada. So is our beautiful poetry book. Thanks to Raymond, it went, the first copy actually went to the Archives of Canada. So it will be in our history forever because we're both Métis. So this was a beautiful collaboration and it's also part of the fundraiser. So, you know, the books are only $30. You've got over 50 beautiful, soul touching, you know, these, this kind of poetry is really about helping you think really making you think, making you feel it. You know, it, it, it's not a lot all about, oh, the wishy-washy, this and that kind of thing. So this is really about going in and kind of making you think again and kind of making you feel it so that it helps you move. Okay, so our beautiful poem for tonight is Let Peace Warm You. Okay, look at that. Look at that beautiful energy we have, okay? See that sunshine, that clear, crisp whiteness, the fresh, clear air, the blue, blue sky, you know, this is really what it is we need and what we're looking for right now. So let peace warm you. Lord, behold, my life seemed to have turned into a nightmare. Each one of my former pleasant dreams disappeared in thin air. Troubled like I had never been before, I began my search for answers. Peace of mind. What, why did it abandon me so fast? How had it set new standards? Expecting to find relief out of my abode, I went for a walk in the countryside. I begged mother nature for help in her snow covered field I couldn't hide. Cuddled by her fresh, cool air, my breathing became more regular and I felt so comfy. Everything appeared to suddenly become clearer in my mind. It was no longer, it no longer felt fuzzy. Wonder, wondering so liberally in this pristine area, I realized my spirits were uplifting. As I put one foot in front of the other, with such confidence, I was wondering, really, if this precious feeling of calm and inner peace would last forever. My angels told me not to worry, because my pain would shortly be over. Yearning for something, yearning for soothing blessings, had I finally encountered them? Once I knew I mastered my decisions, I deserted the mayhem. Under this bright sun, I truly rediscovered my genuine peace. So let Mama Nature heal you. She is the most beautiful, caring, loving Mama we ever had or will ever have. So please allow that inner peace. Find that inner peace. Do what it is that makes you feel calm, comfortable, happy you know, satisfied with you and your life. That is the most important thing right now. Oh, man. 